Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today. We're at Dell Enterprise Forum. Uh, joining me is uh, Pete Kors, uh, with who's the vice president and general manager of Dell Storage. Pete, thanks for jumping in the booth today. Good to see you there, George. So, you know, Pete, one of the things that is interesting to me is uh, almost two, two years ago now, we were at Dell Storage Forum in Orlando, and I kind of wrote just off the cuff a, a, a blog on comparing uh, Compellent and Equalogic, when to pick one or the other. And organically over time, that has become one of the top read articles on our site. And so I think it's something that clearly we're not promoting it. So it's, it's something that people are clearly searching for. Can you talk to that at all? Sure. Um, as you know, uh, we acquired Equalogic about five years ago, mm -hmm. Compellent two years ago. Uh, each one of them has a different value proposition, if you will. Uh, obviously, Equalogic was ease of use, iSCSI, uh, highly virtualized compellent with its tiering, multi-protocol. So I think there was a space there where both of them you know, could be used, but there's a pretty good differentiation. But I think what's even more important is the fact that we now own all this technology, and right. it's about the next step about where we're going. When we acquired those companies, we let them stand alone because we wanted them to grow organically, if you will. Right, first do no harm. Versus right. do no harm and right. make sure that they became part of Dell, and I think we've done that very well. You know, Equal Logic is growing very well, Compellent is, is ramping very nicely for us. But now we're at the next point where, how do we bring these technologies together? Right, so let's talk a little bit about that. What are the next steps in this process? So the first step is to take the best of class, if you will, from Equal Logic, best of class from Compellent, and see how can we use them cross-platform. Uh, things like management uh, integration. Right? We, we hear from customers, hey, I'd like to be able to replicate from my compellent box to my Equalogic box and sure. vice versa. So those will be the first things you see. Over time, as we start planning our next generation set of products, I think you're going to see more and more of that integration between the two sites. Um, since uh, Alan Atkinson, uh, you know, my... Uh, my cohort in crime here, mm -hmm. uh, managing storage, uh, and I have gotten together. We've really spent a lot more time making sure that our teams in Nashua and Eden Prairie are working on this. Okay, and then you know, obviously you guys have been uh, Dell has been busy buying just more than just Compellent and Equalogic. Is there? kind of a plan for all the other acquisitions to start pulling chunks of those into that offering yeah, as well? Yeah, and, we, and that, that's a good point, and we've already done that. If you look at some of our announcements, for example, the announcements we made today on the Fluid File System, that was a result of our acquisition of the Exonet um, mm -hmm. um, team in, in Israel, and you're starting to see where the full value of that file system combined with Compellent is now giving us uh, bragging rights, if you will, on SPECFS numbers. Yeah, the, the, I think your scale-out NAS story there is, is really impressive. I, what I also like about that is that you're not a file system that's presenting block, you're doing native block and native file system when you need to. Yeah, and, and that started originally even pre-Compellent joining Dell, so we started that with Equalogic, we will continue that with Equalogic and with Compellent, so customers that have either one of those platforms will be able to take advantage of the technology. Uh, so in, just in closing, can you give um, sort of a top uh, five reasons or ways to help a customer say, okay, I should, if I got these problems, I should go compelling. If I got these problems, I should go Equalogic? Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's a top five, okay. but let me give you a few. Obviously, um, both of them have strengths. I think uh, if you're a smaller customer, typically, you're going to want to look at Equalogic. We have a lot of Equalogic customers that buy one array, two arrays. They like the idea that they can expand over time. Uh, iSCSI, ease of use, you know, that's a good fit there. Um, you start looking at um, some of the VDI applications. We have those with Equalogic. We also have those with Compellent. So then it becomes, well, how big do you want to get? Do you want to grow pool-wise or do you want to grow in a scaling manner? Uh, clearly, the tiering capability of Compellent is a big deal with some of our customers. The ability to put flash in the front end and be able to tier it down to 7,200 RPM drives. And again, some of the announcements we make that are going to take that even further with fluid cache in the server. Right. That's, that's a nice um, uh, capability that we have. And then, of course, you know, on the Equalogic side, you also need to look at you know, how big do you want your pools to be, how many members, and, and we have a lot of Equalogic customers out there that have um, you know, standardized on, say, four to six members in a group, mm -hmm. and maybe for them, looking at a compelling option might be the right thing to do. Well, it sounds to me that you're also giving the, your customers the flexibility to pick one and then integrate or you know, also take advantage of the other when it makes sense. Yeah, that, that's a great point because 
Our, we have a full portfolio. If you look at Power Vault, Equalogic, which I shouldn't forget Power Vault because it's a big part of our business. And, sure. it's, and if you look at some of the cheap and deep storage, as we like to call it in mm -hmm. storage, which isn't a bad term, right? right? It's a good term. So Power Vault provides that value proposition, um, cost per megabyte, cost per gigabyte. It used to be cost per megabyte, now it's cost yeah, per gigabyte. Cost per terabyte. Yeah, yeah. For, <laughs> for, for those of us who have been in the industry for a while. So we think there's a place for all three of these product lines in the portfolio and for our customers. And we do have customers that buy all three. Okay. Well, great. Well, thanks for jumping in the booth today, Pete, and uh, okay. best of luck at the show here. All right. Thanks, Roger. All right. Bye-bye.